In our fourth vlog, I'll be talking to Bright at Home UK's CEO, Ken Deary, on the pressures facing the home care sector during the coronavirus outbreak and Bright at Home's response. Firstly, what are the key pressures being faced by the sector? Key pressures being faced by the sector are firstly obtaining PPE and the cost of PPE. Um, this sector is made up mainly of small providers including locally owned and operated franchise networks. So the cost of PPE has been really significant and finding that PPE. Luckily with Right at Home our network is getting bigger and we've got some great trusted supply chains out there um, where we've been able to get significant amounts of PPE Yes, we've had to pay more, but we, we've been able to get that PPE. And um, luckily, we've been able to subsidise that for our owners um, from national office. Um, and the key thing to this is we've ensured the safety and well-being of the most important people in all of this, which is our clients and staff. And the second key um, pressure has been financial pressure on the sector. Um, the increased cost of operating to keep clients and staff safe, and I think everyone's aware of the increased costs of operating. Um, but regardless of financial pressure, as a network, all our teams have gone over and above to deliver safe care and make a difference in the communities because it's not about the finances, it's about looking after our people. You've mentioned PPE. Now this has been a hot topic since the start of the pandemic. What is your view on the current situation? Currently supplies are becoming easier, although prices still remain high. Um, but gladly for small providers, the supply chains beginning to open up with more emergency supplies being available from the government, which is obviously a good thing. What needs to be the priority for the government in the here and now to support the sector? Remember, the background is social care is made up in the main by small companies working on small margins, but all with the united priority to look after their clients and wonderful staff. But in social care, we can only do this with reasonable margins. So I'd like to see two things. Firstly, a minimum price for home care so that we can pay our staff and look after our clients in the way they deserve. And secondly, fairly simple, make social care zero rated for VAT. So as a sector, we can then reclaim the VAT on our operating expenses because currently we can't. Now that would cost the government around a hundred million pound a year, which is fairly insignificant for the government, but would really give significant savings for all providers. So you put those two together and it makes providers more viable. Now, during the pandemic, the country has really recognised what a great job social care does in supporting the NHS. So I've asked now that the government invests back in social care with the minimum price for home care and zero rated VAT. So us providers can then invest back in our staff and we can all continue to applaud the great work that our frontline caregivers have done. For more information on Right at Home and its services, please visit www.rightathomeuk.co.uk.